Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer Selenium interview question 82. That is, what are various Gherkin language keywords which are used in or which you have used in Kukumar projects? Let me answer this question for you. Okay. So what are the different or various Gherkin language keywords which are used in the Kukumbar projects? So in Cucumber projects, we create the feature files. Inside the feature files, we create different scenarios. Okay. We create different scenarios inside the feature files. That feature files consists of several Gherkin keywords for building the scenarios or specifying the feature file and all those stuff. We need to use Gherkin language keywords in this Cucumber project feature files. What are that different Gherkin keywords we generally use? I'm going to cover that in this session. So I'm categorizing this Kirkin keywords, Kirkin language keywords used in the feature files of the Kumbar projects into two categories. That is mainly used. What are the keywords that we generally use or mainly use? Okay. Uh, what are the remaining other keywords? I want to cover the entire list, but here mainly used one are here and uh, not generally used are here in the other section. Okay. So coming to the mainly used, we use keywords like feature guys. Okay. So let me make it practical also. This particular session, I'll make it practical. So the first keyword, uh, Gherkin language keyword that we use in the feature files of this Cucumber projects are feature keyword. Okay. So here, if you go to this Eclipse ID here, we, I have already created in this Cucumber project. I already created some feature files here. I'll open one of the feature file. Let's say such dot feature file. If you clearly observe this such dot feature file, there is a Gherkin keyword known as feature, uh, feature keyword from Gherkin language. Okay. Inside this feature file that Cucumber can understand. So what is the use of this feature keyword feature followed by column symbol you have to generally use and followed by that you have to specify the name of the feature for which you are going to create the scenarios for. So this is such dot feature. It is a search functionality feature. Okay. That's what I have written here. Okay. To mention that we have to provide the, if you don't mention this, there is a problem with the feature file. Okay. You have to compulsory mention the feature keyword before writing the scenarios in this feature file. Okay. So all these scenarios belong to which functionality such functionality that is nothing but the feature. Okay. With the help of feature. Keyword, we have written this uh, functionality of the scenarios that we are writing in this feature file. Okay. So that's the advantage of the feature keyword using the feature keywords in the feature files of this Cucumber project. Then we have the scenario keyword guys. Next one is a scenario keyword that we already have seen here in any of the feature files. We'll have a list of scenarios. You see here, for example, I created only these three scenarios, but the search functionality may have a lot of other scenarios. Only for sample case, I created the three scenarios. You see every scenario, every scenario, a scenario. Scenario followed by colon symbol. Okay. This is from the Gherkin language. Guys. This scenario keyword is from the Gherkin language and syntax is you have to write scenario followed by the colon symbol. Okay. So for creating the scenarios and specifying the name of the scenarios, you see, use a search for a valid product. That is here. Uh, this is a test, nothing but a scenario, test scenario. This is okay. This is one test case you can say. Okay. That you are going to automate with the help of this scenario. So for that, we have to mention the scenario Gherkin keyword language, uh, Gherkin language keyword. Okay. User such as for a valid product is one scenario. And uh, second scenario, the name of the scenario or the title of the scenario is user searches for an invalid product. Okay. Here user is searching for a valid product. What will happen? We are testing when user searches for an invalid product, which is not existing in the application, then what will happen the, in the, so this is the title. We have to provide the title of the scenario followed by scenario keyword and user searches without any product. That is part of the third scenario. Okay. Third scenario type like that. Any number of scenarios we have, we can have under the feature file and all these titles of the scenarios, uh, should be followed by the scenario Gherkin language keyword. Then we have given when, then, and, but, okay. All these keywords guys given when, then, and, but, uh, are generally used in the steps of this uh, scenarios. You see here under the scenario, we are using given when, and then, okay. This and can be used along with given. If you have to write multiple lines under the given, then you have to write and. If you want to write multiple lines under and, uh, when, multiple when things, you have to, you can follow and after the when also. And uh, then I also can have and guys, okay? You see here, most of the cases when and and, when and and, when and and are there. Let's uh, see other scenario, other uh, feature files and see given when. You see two ands are coming in after when, okay? Here two ands, here three ands all post, okay? When thing, okay? When uh, most of the cases, uh, Ands are used with when only if you can see, but you can also use and with given and also then also. Okay. So to continue the given and then also similarly, your uh, this when is being continued in this three lines. Okay. This, this is a when part. 
But uh, if you have multiple lines under when, you have to append that with and. Okay. You can have multiple lines under given. For that, you can also use uh, and after the given if you want. And for after then also, you can have and. Okay. And similarly, we have but also. I'll cover that later. So, guys, why we have to use this uh, given? Given means the precondition. Okay. Given user opens the application to perform this test, this should be there. Okay. To perform this particular test, first we have to open the application. User has to open the application, then only user can search for a valid product, right? So, given user opens the application is a prerequisite kind of uh, thing for the testing this scenario. When means when means what action? Okay, when this prerequisite is satisfied, then what action the user has to take to perform this test? User has to enter valid product known as HP into the search box field. And uh, user clicks on search button. This is action to be done by the user. Okay, to enter the valid product and click on search button is action. Then means what result? Then means result. Then what should happen? User should get valid product displayed in the search results. Okay, so if this particular thing doesn't happen, the rest will fail. Right? Given is a precondition. When is the action? Then is the result. Okay, everywhere the same thing. If you go to the restart feature file, also same thing. Given user navigates to restart account page is a prefix site when user performs these actions okay all these things are the user performs these actions okay there may be multiple pre sites where we will use and keyword along with get given okay if you have to have not only this pre set but also another pre set you just uh, you will write this and statement after this given also and if you have multiple results you will use and with the then also okay like that and can be used anywhere guys okay with given when and then okay followed by given when then you can use and but here in this example we are using and with when so as I mentioned, given me is a prefix site, when is the action, and then is the result. Then is the result. Everywhere the same thing. Okay. So and is a positive action or positive prefix site or positive result. Okay. In such cases, we'll use and. But if you have a negative result, you see, then user should get create user should uh, user account should get uh, created successfully, but no warning message should be displayed. Okay, such kind of negative statements if you want to write, opposite statements you want to write, something should not happen if you want to write in this uh, scenarios, then you have to use a but keyword. Okay, and is for the positive. Okay, then user should get created successfully and user should be taken to the so and so page. Okay, like that you can write, but warning message should not be displayed. Okay, so like that we'll use but as an opposite of this and. Okay. So now, uh, these are the basic ones, guys, that we generally use and the most uh, compulsory used for any feature file. In any feature file, you will find feature scenario given when, then, and, and, okay? But it's rarely used. That's okay. Okay, whenever you have a negative uh, thing to add up, opposite things should, uh, like, but this should not happen kind of things you want to add up, that kind of step, then you will generally go with, but most of the cases will go from feature to and, guys, but it's rarely used. And then we have this background, okay? Another... Uh, uh, this Gherkin language keyword uh, that we use in the feature files of the Cucumber project is a background. So when we use this uh, background, here one example is there with background, I guess. I don't remember whether I have that or not. Here it is not written though. Uh, nowhere I have used. So when do we use background means? You see, if you have the common prix side steps in the beginning of this uh, test, uh, if you have a common prix side steps, you see here in this uh, particular scenario, the same step is there, okay? First step is same. So you can move that into background, okay? Like this, you can move if you want, okay? Background, under the background, you just move this uh, given step, okay? Cut from here and paste it here. That's it. This is a background step, okay? So you don't have to write the same step in all the scenarios, okay? This is a common prerequisite step for all the scenarios. Such kind of common prerequisite steps, you can move into the background case, okay? So this background step will run before every scenario. For every scenario, this background step will run. That's the purpose of the background. Get in language keyword. Uh, which is generally written in the feature files of the Kumbar project. Then we have the scenario outline and examples, guys. Scenario outline and examples. We generally use this for data-driven testing purpose. Scenario outline and uh, uh, examples uh, we generally use in the data-driven testing. For example, if you go to the login dot feature, here we have scenario outline, guys. Okay. So and here examples are there. Multiple sets of data. If you want to implement, uh, if you want to implement data-driven uh, testing in this uh, Cucumber project automation framework or project, okay, then we have to use scenario outline guys. Okay, I cannot uh, create the same scenario multiple times for each and every set of data, right? That's not a good idea. Login with valid credentials with this particular data. That's not a good approach, right? So rather what we do is uh, the same test case or test scenario should run the number of times the number of uh, sets of data are there, okay? That means the scenario should run how many times? 
with three sets of data, three times this. Okay, if you have five sets of data, the test scenario should run five times. For that, to for that to happen, we should not be writing scenario here in, in this kind of data driven testing kind of scenarios. Normal scenarios keyword is not enough. Okay, we have to change the scenario to scenario outline in the data driven test. That means that the scenario outline will contain another keyword known as examples containing the list. Uh, I mean multiple sets of data here. Okay, for which the test has to execute that many number of times. If you have five sets of data, the scenario outline uh, uh, test will run five times. If you have ten data sets, then you the scenario outline will uh, scenario will run the scenario will run ten times. Okay, for which for implementing that kind of thing, scenario outline and examples, uh, Gherkin language keywords need to be used in the uh, feature files. Okay, then uh, then we have data tables, guys. Okay, somewhere here we have the data tables examples also. Register dot feature. You see here we have used the data tables. Okay, if you have a lengthy form where you have to fill the data into the fields. Okay, so instead of writing multiple steps like uh, when I and I and I and I and kind of things, instead of writing, you see for each and everything, first name you have to write one I and here. For last name, you have to write one and here. Telephone, you have to write and user enters the telephone number, say this, this so and so, like that you have to say. And user enters the password, one, two, three, four, five, we have to say. So instead of doing that, guys, we can pass all the sets of data. Okay, we can, if you have a lengthy form and if you want to pass all the data into the fields in that lengthy form, you can go with the data table here. Okay, so this particular step uh, in the step definition method, okay, if you go to this register.java, Okay, in that uh, user enters the details into the fields will be there. User enters the details into the below fields will be there. Here, all the data that you are passing from the, all the data that you are passing from this below this step, okay, will go and fall into this data table, guys. From the data table, we'll convert that into the map, okay, and then from the map, we'll enter the data. You see data map dot get of first name, okay. Here, this particular key, if you provide, the value will be retrieved, okay? Like the data tables, okay? For data tables, you'll use the pipe symbols, okay? For data tables, we use the pipe symbols. Not only for data tables, guys, we also use the pipe symbol in other case also, that is for data-driven testing also, we have to use the pipe symbol. So it's like two things, okay? Data tables and uh, data-driven testing. This uh, this is a keyword, guys, okay? Here, we should call it a symbol, but uh, according to the documentation of this uh, Cucumber, right? According to the documentation of Cucumber, if I write something like this, Cucumber, uh, cucumber uh, Gherkin keywords if I type, okay, Gherkin keywords if I type, I'll be taken to this documentation, Gherkin reference. And in this, you will see that uh, in the documentation of the, uh, uh, on the official website of Cucumber, under the um, Gherkin reference page, you will see that there are a list of uh, keywords they have mentioned. They're calling this uh, data tables uh, type symbol also as a keyword case, okay, apart from the English names, symbols also they're calling as data tables case, okay. So that uh, symbols also they are calling as keywords. Okay, for data table, this symbol we use. Okay, that is a keyword they are calling as for the documentation of the cucumber. And for tags, we generally use at the rate symbol guys. Okay, I don't know whether we have this uh, tags here. I don't think there are tags here. We have not have not mentioned any tags in this particular uh, framework. So here we can provide some tags right uh, to customize this. Okay, at the rate login, uh, at the rate uh, all, at the rate uh, valid credentials. Okay. These are all user defined tags, guys. But uh, for that to happen, we have to use at the rate symbol here. Okay. At the rate symbol, we have to use. So, these are all the keywords we can say. So, then comments. If you have to write some comments uh, to explain the underlying scenario, but comments uh, will not be recognized by Cucumber tool, right? Okay. They will not be considered as part of the code or keywords or whatever it is. Okay. Uh, they will not be considered as uh, some uh, scenario or feature files. They will not be considered. They are only for, uh, you know, uh, and, and uh, explaining the underlying uh, scenarios and all in the feature file. Okay. For that, we have to use hash symbol. Okay, hash symbol is the thing. Okay, if you want to, if you don't want this particular scenario to run, again the same thing is you just provide hash before all the scenario steps. Okay, like this control forward slash if you press hash is getting added. Okay, this scenario will not be executed anymore. Okay, uh, comments have two purposes. One is to explain the underlying scenario. Other one is to uh, disable the steps from execution okay again if you want to run this scenario again press control forward slash together all this uh, hash symbols will go off commenting will go off and uh, now the scenario will run okay there are two purposes for the comments and uh, comments also this symbol comment symbol is also called as a keyword as per the gherkin documentation so this is very detailed guys but mainly interviewers uh, will expect you to explain about feature scenario given when then and these are the major ones okay apart from that they may expect you Expect you to explain about the background, scenario outline, and examples. Okay, that's it. And all the other remains remaining, if you can explain, right? That's okay. 
you can mention that as per the documentation of uh, cucumber uh, this pipe symbol which is used for data table is also called as a key, uh, keyword though it looks like a symbol we have to explain it specially otherwise okay so then we have others that is rule rule keyword is there that we generally don't use much and uh, like similar to feature scenario we have the rule keyword that we don't use much and we have this doc string three double quotes will be there three double quotes will be there that is a doc string okay these are the other things which we, which we don't use mainly okay these are the mainly used ones if you can explain this all these mainly used keywords get in keywords uh, that are used in the feature files of the cucumber project that will be more than enough guys okay so hope okay, guys so, uh, now you understand uh, i know the various gherkin keywords various gherkin keywords uh, which are which can be used in the feature files of this cucumber projects so that's all for this session thank you bye